1867, this school was established with a group of physicians like Nathan Cooley Keep, who was a 1827 graduate of Harvard Medical School, first president of Mass Dental Society. The school was the first American dental school associated with a university and its medical school. It was also the first to give the DMD degree. The first two black dentists were graduates of this school in 1869 and 1870. And in fact, one of them went on to be the first university faculty member, Dr. Grant. The school was located in downtown Boston and didn't move up here until 1909, at which time it was all farmland down here. The red brick building was erected, and that's where the dental school sat. And the most important thing is on the front of the building, it says Harvard University Dental School and Hospital. The linkage with healthcare in general and medicine was always the legacy that continued. One of the goals at HSDM is to produce leaders in the field of dentistry. We read every single application that is submitted to the school. We identify individuals who are well-rounded candidates. This is something I tell all our first-year students. If there is one word that I want everybody to consider, that is opportunity. The first impressions of the school was a very small, friendly, uh, community-oriented place, and also a very high caliber of faculty and research. Knowing that I would be in Harvard Medical School for two years was a big attraction for me because my background was in research and I wanted to continue doing research and being affiliated with Harvard Medical and Dental School both. When I started, there were 18 students in my class. A lot of attention, a lot of focus. There was never a lost moment. There was never a moment where I felt that I, I didn't belong, that I didn't understand because there's always someone there to support you. Being the oldest dental school and also having established such good reputation and traditions, it may seem tempting to just sit back and relax, but the school has been constantly generating new ideas, is willing to embrace change, and most recently underwent a major curriculum reform in pursuit of excellence. The students have an opportunity to experience the integration of oral health and primary care. And we've also adopted a new educational pedagogy, which is a combination of problem-based learning, team-based learning, case-based learning, flipped classrooms, to provide an active learning environment and to prepare students to become lifelong learners. Our hidden curriculum is a strong mentorship that we faculty provide for our students. They go through a tremendous amount of growth um, professionally and personally, and faculty, we are privileged to be able to observe it so closely because we get to know our students so well. We're much bigger than we were. I graduated with 19. We now graduate 35 to 40, but it's still very family-like, and I always tell the students that it's a community that's special that's passionate, but is very much for the best in healthcare, the best in discovery, and the best in moving the field forward. So many dental schools produce a graduate who does the same thing. And I tell them here that I hope they find careers that don't yet exist in dentistry and many of them do. And we have examples of that from our alumni, whether they become chief dental officers at companies or startup companies or develop new programs. We aim to produce a um, excellent product, not a uniform one. It brings together people who are imaginative, who are bright, but who also are willing to look beyond what exists today. This collection of people who are excited and passionate about doing things that hopefully will make a difference. You know, it's not just about clinical practice, it's research, it's leadership, pushing the envelope. It's your responsibility to take giant steps to create a future that you believe it should be. It was my Harvard background and training that gave me the courage, but also the discipline to be a leader. I have been very fortunate to reach out to our alumni at HSTM. It shapes us not just for our professional life, but it shapes us for being good citizens of this country and our communities. There's no question in my mind that the Harvard School of Dental Medicine opened up 
opportunities in my life that I believe would not have come along. It's really been a privilege for me. It was incredible when I look back on, on my career here. Um, four years, it seemed like four minutes. In retrospect, I wish I could do it another four years. When you leave here and you become part of the living community, you see how proud the community is of the Harvard experience. I think that I owe more because of the Harvard training that I get, I owe more to the community. I feel at this time in my life when I'm more established that I have an opportunity to give back to an institution that gave so much to me. I can only implore alumni to consider what their opportunity here did for their lives and to give back and support students who could come here. The concept that medicine and dentistry should not be separate, to me, is, is really critical. And I don't know of any place that emphasizes that more than Harvard School of Dental Medicine. It's part of its roots. That's what we stand for. Our mission is to produce global leaders who integrate oral health and medicine. The history of HSDM shows that we've never been afraid of challenges and change. The significance of the 150 year anniversary is that the school has taken another step forward. Every time I come back from a dental school dean's meeting, it makes me realize how different we are in our thinking, how different we are in our vision. Over the years of my deanship, we've brought in problem-based learning. We've created a, one of the first faculty practices in a dental school. we built this new building. We've rejuvenated research. We are very proud to be a part of the 150 years of Harvard the School of Dental Medicine and we are hoping and looking forward to the next uh, 150 years. I never would have thought I'd be in a position like I am today. Um, I never would think that I'd be talking to you today about the 150th anniversary. What an incredible journey. The next 150 years is going to be even more breathtaking, unimaginable. This is no small thing, 150 years. No small thing indeed. And we're planning a lot of events. There'll be a lot of opportunities for alumni to gather and remember their good days as students here.